Lesson 710 is using the slide rule to add and subtract. We will not be using the slide rule for this lesson, but we will be practicing addition and subtraction with positive and negative numbers. So take a look in your math journal at page 242. Um, you're going to be doing these math message problems. You can probably figure these out on your own, but we're going to use a strategy where we walk the number line to figure those out as well. So let's take a look at that strategy. I think it will help you. All right, it says for problem number one, we have 13 minus a positive 10. So if you had a number line and it went, let's say from zero over here, I'm sorry, let's put zero in the middle. Zero and you have negative 10 and maybe positive 10. Okay, and it would continue to go on in both directions. Um, I would want to start at positive 13, so probably about here. Since I'm subtracting, I want to face smaller numbers because I know when I subtract, I'm taking away. Since I'm subtracting a positive number, I'm going to walk forward. So if I'm on the number line at 13 and I walk forward 10 steps, I would end at a positive 3. Okay, let's try it for problem number 2. I'm going to start again at 13. I'm going to face negative because we're subtracting and I'm going to walk forward because it's a negative 10. So I'm at 13, I walk forward 10 steps, and again I would end at positive three. Okay, for problem number three, I'm going to start at 13. I'm adding this time, so I'm actually going to face the other direction. I'm gonna face the bigger numbers because when I add, I get larger numbers usually. Okay, so I'm facing the positive direction, but because I'm adding a negative 10, I'm actually gonna take 10 steps backwards, which would again land me at positive three. Okay, so no matter how you write this problem, there's three different ways that they've written out their number sentences here, I still end up with a positive three. And if you can remember that whenever you're um, starting with, you start wherever your first number is, if you subtract, you face smaller numbers. If you add, you face larger numbers. If you add a positive or subtract a positive, you walk forward. If you add or subtract a negative, you walk backwards. So let's take a look at how that would work with some actual equations. Okay, let's start here. We have 12 minus 17. So again, I'm here is 10, so 11, 12 would be about right here in my number line. I'm subtracting, so I'm facing smaller numbers. And if I walk down the number line, 17 steps, it's a positive 17. So at 12, walk 12 steps would get me to zero. I'd have to walk a little bit further and I would end up at negative five. Okay? And you can use our classroom number line when you are working on some of these problems if it helps you as a strategy. Um, you know, it'll have all of the actual numbers on there so that would be helpful. Here, let's try it again. I'm at positive 12. I'm adding, so I'm gonna face the bigger numbers, but I'm adding a negative 17. So again, I'm gonna be walking backwards, and if I walk down the number line, I would end at a negative five. Okay, let's do one more. We'll do number six, because sometimes subtracting those negative numbers seems a little tricky. Um, I will start at positive 10. Subtracting, so I face smaller numbers, but I'm subtracting a negative Four. So even though I'm subtracting, I'm walking backwards four steps. So I would add, at a, or I would end at a positive 14. Okay, so really pay attention to if you're adding or subtracting and if it's a positive or a negative number. Um, another strategy, a little secret that you might um, figure out as you're doing this is whenever you subtract a negative, it's like adding a positive. So that's something to keep in mind when you do these as well.